440,000 acres is what are in our state parks across New Jersey, over 500 miles of trail, 10 miles of beaches, and active recreation areas with year-round operations for people to um, explore and enjoy with their families. In order to keep these assets open and available and affordable for residents, Commissioner Martin and the DEP have come to me with a new innovative strategy that will generate sustainable and secure revenues while at the same time enhance the parks by improving and expanding the services that they offer to the public. So the new park strategy has two phases, focusing on short and long-term revenue growth. The goal of phase one is to increase non-tax resources to $15 million by 2015 through an initial round of partnerships with the private sector and nonprofit organizations and environmental foundations at some of the state's largest parks. The longer-term goal of phase two is to raise about two-thirds of the annual operating budget for the state park system from alternative funding sources, thereby greatly reducing reliance on the state budget while increasing overall funding for our state parks. Some of these projects are already underway, such as significant restructuring of state park concessions, with the goal of having multi-capable concessionaires handle services like food service, boat rentals, or lifeguards. As a result, park sustaining revenue will begin to be realized from these projects by as early as the end of next year. This new model also will improve visitor services and amenities, making the park experience more rewarding for millions of visitors, while allowing Commissioner Martin and his team at the DEP to focus resources on stewardship of these important natural, historic, and cultural assets.